ability. I am Spider-Man. Hello and welcome to another Ouroboros review. I am super excited to bring you guys the unboxing of the collector's edition of Spider-Man 2. I've been looking forward to this since the first game, you know, with the, the small teaser of Venom or the symbiote in Harry Osborn's tank. I was like, the next one's going to be awesome. So clearly Venom's in this. You see Black Suit's Peter, which is awesome. So yeah, let's get into it. I actually, before we do get into it, I came home. My my fiance was like, oh yeah, um, I just need to stop at home, grab something so we can go pick this up. Yeah, she scared the hell out of me because she looked into the collection room and she was like, oh no. And I was just like, what? And um, yeah, this was waiting for me. So she actually went early and picked it up for me, which is very great. This is actually my birthday present. So I'm pretty happy to bring it to you guys. So without further ado, let's check out the box. Okay, so here's the box. Obviously this is more involved with, with Peter and Miles this time around, which is gonna be really cool. This is like the general poster, just elongated. Then you have the Smite over here, everything it comes with, and um, that's, why I got it. It's a really cool dynamic statue. Another spider. The top here says Spider-Man 2. On the bottom, just all the little bits and pieces. So let's pop this thing open. We've got a standard box with a Spider-Man symbol on there, which is pretty cool. And the symbol is actually a little glossy compared to the rest of the mat of the box, which is nice. Nice little I mean, like this. Just this looks awesome. You know, that looks awesome. So I've also seen that Hot Toys has released a prototype images of Venom. And holy hell, he's gigantic. He's 53 centimeters, so he's actually taller than the carnage in the back here that you can see. There's a video out on this guy if you want to check him out just to see scale compared to a normal 1.6 scale, I'll have him displayed at some point with Eddie Brock next to him over there. But it's a little blurry right now. So we get a nice steel book with no game, which is kind of strange. So you can see Venom, Spider-Man and Spider-Man. <laughs> and then on the back here, I think it's just a continuation of the image in the front, which is cool. Got the code here for the digital game and yeah it is it does seem like it's a continuation of the actual image from the front here which is cool i like the dynamic of blue and, and green on the side here which is really nice got some instructions for the statue which is cool and then this huge red cover so let's pull this guy out have a look oh man this is actually really big i didn't expect it to be this big it takes up the, the full span of the the box, which is really cool. Damn. So I would guess this would be probably one one tenth scale, maybe. But yeah, no, this this is this is gigantic. So the first guy we pull out is Venom. Look at that, that's huge. Uh, and Spider Man is a separate piece, naturally, because um, he's. Wow, this is really cool. I kind of want to just play with him around work or something. And then it looks like we've got his webbing here. Yep, that's his webbing. So I'll do a quick little uh, put together and then we'll have a look at the statue all together. So here we have it all assembled. It was very easy. Just this piece and this piece was separate. That's it. So he is massive, right? I absolutely love how dynamic it is. The only thing I'm worried about is Peter and Miles slowly starting to droop over time. So the peg that goes into Venom's shoulder and Spider-Man's arm is very short for such a dynamic pose, which is very unfortunate, but this is a really cool collector's edition. They're getting better and better, more and more elaborate as technology goes on. But without further ado, let's get straight into it. There's a few nitpicks I have, but I'm extremely impressed and it wasn't that expensive at the same time. So good on you, Marvel. I'm very, very happy. All right, let's take a closer look. So here we have 
Miles, he looks awesome. I love the fact that you can see his Venom strike coming as well as the difference between the, the like shiny blacks and the matte blacks from material and, and guess armor. Looks very cool. I'm very happy with it. I love the translucency on the electric, electric effect, the bioelectricity. You can see that Venom's just grabbed his foot here and it looks really cool. Very, very cool. I don't have too much to say about Miles. His paint applications are pretty good. The sculpting is amazing, but that's always the case with collector's editions. You've probably heard me say it in a few other videos. If you watch my other uh, unboxings of collector's editions, it's usually the same deal where the sculpt is always awesome, but the paint job is always lacking. Seams aren't great on this entire statue, but mostly on Venom because he's one solid piece. The rest, uh, like Miles and Peter, uh, it, it's kind of almost forgiven because of the different textures as well as the webbing and all that kind of stuff kind of blends the actual seams a, a lot more. But let's take a little bit of a closer look. So naturally we have like blaring lights on this guy, but not too much to fault with his sculpt. The paint applications are pretty good too. Not much wash is going on here, but you don't necessarily need it. I think Spider-Man is probably the weakest of the sculpt, but we'll get to him right now. All right, so here we have Spidey. Very cool. You'll see in the close-ups where his paint applications is lacking, but his, his seams aren't great either. Like his shoulder on the lowest part here. So they went with an actual lens for his 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 eyes and i'm pretty sure they did the same with miles but the eyes and the front forehead is one separate piece and you can see those seams pretty prominently but again his coloration is very different to miles and that's kind of where that comes in because it's a blue red and white it shows more which makes sense but very dynamic very cool i'm very very scared that slowly he's just gonna droop his arm's gonna start bending but I really hope not. I guess only time will tell. But uh, if you guys are looking to buy this, if you guys can still get some available, just keep keep that in mind. But yeah, let's take a bit of a closer look. All right, so here we have a bit of a close up for Peter. You can kind of see that depth on his eyes where I was talking about the lenses are a separate piece. You can kind of see the seam lines, but the white paint is a little sloppy. The blue and red are pretty good, but the wash kind of kills it. You can kind of see here in this in his stomach area that it's pretty prominent. You can also see that seam line that I was telling you about on his shoulder, which isn't great. As a whole, it looks amazing. So I'm very happy with that. Very, very dynamic. I love how da dynamic it is. Now let's get to Venom. All right, so here we have Venom. Absolute beast of a statue. It's really, really cool. I love hate the way he's standing on his own tendrils here. I'll have to play the game and get a better perspective on on that. My my idealistic Venom is uh, there's not much tendrils going on. So I never really display mine with tendrils if it's an option. I just like the fact that he's doing a little bit more. If he was just lunging from one foot, it would look a little strange, but he's not. Maybe that's what they were going for initially, but realized that the weight might be an issue. But uh, not much paint applications are bad in this, purely because it's just black and white, you know? The most paint applications is in teeth, the mouth, and the spider. But the spider's just plain white. There are There is a few highlights in there. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So if you guys can see that seam line underneath here, there's one on the back of the neck, as well as on this shoulder here. There's a, a few on his butt over here, or there's one on his butt, and then there's also one up here where his wrist is. There's some on his fingers, but you can't really see them that well. There's also some going across his knuckles here, but we won't talk about that too much. It is a collector's edition after all, but we'll get started on the base. All right, so here we have the base. You can see the, the tendrils all coming out through the, the floor. Um, there's It looks like a New York kind of pavement or road. It's got like this huge crack in the middle here, as well as some dirt rubble and a dark grayish stone slash concrete slash road, which is really cool. The symbiote, is absolutely crawling all over this. And I like how the patterning of it, I'm not too sure if you guys can make it out because this is very shiny. So the reflection of all the lights on this on this guy is quite bright, but the slight ripples and stuff through the actual symbiote is almost web-like, which looks really cool. It's like chaotic web almost. It's not perfect like what you see in Spider-Man's mask or whatever, but you can see that there's veinage slash web patterning to it, which is really cool. 
I've always hated the fact that a Venom statue, when there is a base involved with tendrils on it, or tendrils coming out of his back, or his arm, or whatever, it's always so much shinier on the actual base part compared to the, the statue part. And I've always hated that, except for this one. Purely because you can actually see the transitioning from this matte coloring to a shiny foot that leads into the base. So it actually looks like it's coming out of him which is awesome. I, I love that. And you can actually see some of that chaotic webbing slash veinage coming through his calf there, which is awesome. So I'm very happy about that. It actually makes sense that it's shinier than the character himself because it is coming out of him or flowing from him. And I'm very, very happy about that. So moving on up, I'm gonna skip his leg parts and we'll get straight to the spider. Alrighty, so the spider looks pretty cool. It's definitely modern. I much prefer the standard spider where the legs of the actual spider goes underneath his armpit there, but it is modern, so I, I can forgive that. I'm just really, really happy that they put it in the trailer of when Spider-Man's wearing the black suit that when he's enraged or whatever, the symbol on his chest looks like this. So the fact that Venom is a rage monster makes sense that the spider is also as chaotic as he is. So I'm very happy about that. The spider looks pretty good. I'm not too sure if you guys can see any of the gray highlights or shadow work on the spider, but it looks pretty good. The sculpt on this is really, really nice. The spider is actually raised, which is really cool. And then you can also see some striations of the tendons slash muscle vein work underneath as well, but very, very lightly. So I'm very happy. Even the, the, the texture of the skin is ever so slightly bumpy. You can see that here in his bicep. That's like throughout the, the entire statue, which is really cool. Certain sections of the body is a little bit less bumpy. Yeah, very cool. I do like that a lot. And you can kind of see that armpit shoulder seam a lot better with this close up. But let's get into the head and we'll talk about the spider web on his shoulder slash neck. I forgot what this muscle is called. <laughs> but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get straight into his face. I'm not gonna lie, the way he looks on this angle looks ridiculous. It looks like Pac-Man with teeth. <laughs> but from a distance slash a higher perspective, it does look a lot better. But this kind of angle looks a little silly. This is the, the way they went with, with Venom, so um, I can't complain because I do like the way he looks. So the spider web, there's a nasty seam line on that. So there's that seam line. Now the webbing itself is pretty poorly painted. I've always hated how when they do webs, for slightly lower budget statues where they just block out everything as this big white color and then there's just the texture of the web on top of it. I would have much preferred if they went with the complete pinpoint lines that you see down here. It would have been way, way cooler. But at the same time, they need to hide how thick the webbing actually is. So the webbing is extremely thick. It's nearly as thick as Peter's arm, but it's so dynamic that they had to do some sort of structure. So I'm not going to complain too much about that. I, you know, I'm meant to nitpick this kind of stuff. So also while we're back here, you can see that seam line on the back of his neck. It is a collector's edition. I, I, I know I keep saying it, but when collector's edition evolved, you have to expect some sort of low grade paintwork slash sculpt work, depending on what company it goes with. As a whole, it's really awesome. All right, so I love the coloration of those teeth. It looks nasty. I like how splintered his teeth are. It's not just big chunky teeth. It is needle sharp looking, and it looks like even if you brush up against that, it's gonna tear you to ribbons, which is really cool. I love how long the tongue is, even though I'm not a big fan of really long tongues when it comes to venom, but I do like it. I love the glossiness, I love that bright maroon red color. It looks really cool and that goes all the way through into his mouth which is awesome. But yeah, it looks very cool. The I like the, the, the shape of his eyes. Very, very Venom. Very cool. But that kind of does it. Hey, that's everything really. Just giving you my way, Miles. <laughs> So thank you all for checking out this review. I really hope you guys might have gotten one. The first batch in Australia and uh, Brisbane pretty much sold out in like five minutes. I am quite fortunate that my fiance was on the website before they released it. She was just waiting for it, which is really cool and I'm really happy I got one. They did end up releasing another wave. If you guys haven't gotten one of these, I'm a 
you know, my heart goes out to you because this thing is sick. I, I love it. It's gonna match perfectly with my Spider-Man collection as well as my collector's edition stuff for PlayStations. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm really sorry that there hasn't been too much movement going on in my channel. There's a lot of stuff going on in my life right now and, and doing reviews and collecting is kind of second priority at this point. With everything that's going on, I was really, really looking forward to this game. So very, very happy. If you guys haven't played the PlayStation 4 slash PlayStation 5 Spider-Man games, then I highly recommend checking them out. They are very good stories. A little bit of repetitive play, but it's a Spider-Man game that's gonna happen. It's so cool. If you guys haven't subscribed, please like and subscribe. I have tons of unboxings, tons of uh, statues, as well as figures still to come, as well as on the channel right now. My Gwen Stacy has been get getting a lot of attention, but it's slowly slowed down. It's almost at 90K, so please go check it out and give it a like. I don't know why it got up there so quickly, but give it a go. I want to use that 90K. <laughs> yeah, go check out my other stuff. I go through games, Marvel, all sorts of different things. Yeah, thank you all for watching. Enjoy your weekend. It's the weekend for me today. So I'm very happy about that. So enjoy your week, uh, stay safe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.